Hey guys, Youth Pastor Albert here. I'm uh, here today with uh, another prayer for you guys out of my 365 Days of Prayer for Teens book. I know it's already technically September 18th, but I'm going to do uh, September 17th and 18th uh, for you guys today. So if this prayer speaks to you guys in any way, go ahead and smash that like button for me and let me know. All right, so the prayer for yesterday was you alone. And it says, no one is holy like the Lord. There is no one besides you. There is no rock like our God. First Samuel 2, 2 NLT. And here's the prayer. You can pray it with me or this is the prayer for you. It says, God, you are strong, mighty, and wise. You created everything in this world by speaking it into being. How incredible. You are stronger than anything I could imagine. You can carry the weight of the world so easily. For this reason, I know I can trust you with any aspect of my life. I know I never need to worry about the basic necessities of life because you provide. Lord, you are my rock and my salvation. You keep me grounded in tough situations and make me feel uplifted. You save me from my sins and redeem me. You rescue me from challenges I face. I am so thankful the God I serve is so good. You are a good father to anyone who needs you. Thank you for the gift of your strength and salvation. Remind me that you are bigger than any of my life's problems. Remind me to draw close to you. So here's a uh, question that says, how can you practice shifting your perspective? I know uh, Hebrews 12, 2 also says, let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. And I know Colossians also talks about setting your mind on things above, not things that are beneath. So the devil wants us to focus on things that will distract us, things that will cause us to get further and further away from God. But we need to understand that God wants us to set our mind on things above. He wants us to fix our eyes on Jesus because he's the only one who can satisfy us. He's the only one who can satisfy us and he's the only one who has the answer. Jesus is the answer. So whatever problem we face, let's remember that our God is huge and that he can help us get through any problem. He's the greatest problem solver there is. All right, so this is Youth Pastor Albert signing out. I'm going to be coming on here next with the prayer for today for September 18th. All right, have a great day. If this prayer spoke to you, smash that like button. All right, bye-bye.